Hey guys, today we're going to do the inside covers. We're going to add some pockets to the inside covers and some tags to this little mini album, the Remnants Lovely Layers Graphic 45 Fairy Dust mini album that I designed for Metacon. As a reminder, I did film this in February, so uh, also, all the links to my printables and to the playlist for the Lovely Layers um, template will be in the description box below, as well as links to like my Amazon and all of that different stuff that has all the different stuff that I use in my videos on those pages. Um, so, I wanted to, what am I going to do? So, this is the paper line. Graphic 45, Fairy Dust. I'm using both sets that we're using in this little album. So we're going to do the front and the back cover. So we're going to use like leftover pieces from all of the pages. So let me get this to lay a little flatter. All right, so the front page, we're going to use this little leftover pocket from one of the envelope pages. And I'm going to get, I'm going to notch these um, corners. like that and then on the back page on the back cover I'm sorry we're gonna use this leftover pocket on that back page or the back cover I keep calling it the back page um, so we're gonna notch this one too I just thought it'd be a good place to use the leftover bits Okay, and then uh, what else are we gonna use? Oh, and then you remember from this page here, we ripped this off. I'm gonna use this on the back cover as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've got this out so that I can ink it up. Let me get my scoreboard. I'm gonna take my EK tool scoreboard and stylus and I'm gonna, I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm scoring these lines. Like so. I'm going to score this one. <laughs> Get off of there. Go ahead and get these folded and we're going to ink them up. And I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder and I'm really going to push it, really give it a good crease. All right. Now I'm going to ink all three pieces up. This is Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. I'm going to go ahead and ink all three of these. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use this as a belly band. Should I rip the top or leave it? I'm going to leave the top like that. So I'm going to cut this top strip off. I forgot that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to use it kind of like a belly band because the pocket in the back is the short pocket. I just think it'd be cute. All right, I'm going to ink these other two, and I'll be back. All right, so let's start with the front pocket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the chipboard pieces, and this is from the collection. I'm going to use this one right here, and I'm going to add that to the pocket before I attach it down. It's already got little holes in it. So I'm going to take... I'm going to ink it up first. Oh, and you know what else? Before I go any further, let me go ahead and add some tape to this pocket. And to, let me go ahead and add tape, period. This is score tape. It's quarter of an inch. And those are Tim Holtz tonic five inch little baby scissors. Okay, so I'm going to put tape on this one the same. And 
And then I'm going to add tape to these two pieces here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tack this bottom piece down to the two short side pieces here, just like this. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some twine, and I'm just going to run it through these holes. And come back out through that hole, like that. All right? And then I'm going to wrap it around here and attach it down to the side just using that score tape right so then it'll be like adjustable can you see what I'm doing right so it looks like that I think that's so cute and then I'm gonna cut the excess off and I'm gonna take this uh, bottom backing off here and I'm just going to stick it down right here right inside the cover I just think that's cute so if you wanted to you could scooch it over to one side or whatever it's just cute I just like it and we're going to do some tags but let's put the back pocket in first this one's pretty easy same thing We're going to go ahead and take the backing off of these pieces, attach the bottom piece, and we're going to attach this down. We're not going to do the fancy um, twine and stuff. So before we put this down, I'm going to grab one of my, this is a build embellishment tag. Uh, set five. So I want to kind of, I want to make sure I get this straight. So I'm going to mark it with my pencil because I can erase that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to tuck this down. That gives me kind of an idea about where I want to go with a height as well. So let's go right there. Might be a little yeah a little shorter than I had marked, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do another chipboard piece. I'm gonna do this one up here. a great trick that the graphic 45 lady she taught me she just taught me wasn't she great <laughs> I don't even remember what I was watching but it was a graphic 45 video so that says fairy dust I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up a little and then I'm gonna use some of the seam binding and oh goodness I might have to add more seam binding to it too Yeah, it's a, I'm glad that I did this before uh, time because, before time, ahead of time, before the Maticon, because I've already had to, <clears throat> I've already had to add some things into the kit, so, that I would have forgotten had I not. That might be too much. Not forgotten, but that I would, I just wouldn't have had. All right, so I'm thinking about just sticking this like right here. Just as a little something. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it. <clears throat> this is just Fabri-Tac. And we're going to stick it right here. That's so cute. Okay. 
All right, well, let's start while we got this open. Let's start with the tag back here. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this. That's on the back side. Yeah, and I'm gonna use this. Is it short? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this on here and I'm gonna trace it out. But I'm not gonna use the center hole there. Um, let's go around the bottom corner. But I am gonna use a sticker from the sticker sheet. Pretty sure. Yeah, they've got these, these here, or these, what are these called? These tab thingies here. So I'm going to use that. I'm gonna ink this edge. At the top here, I'm gonna, hmm. So I'm just gonna come down here, I think, like this. I'm just using my template as a, a gauge. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim it out. I know it looks weird right this second. But I'm gonna trim from this corner to the corner of the sticker, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna trim from this corner to the corner of the sticker. I'm gonna get some smaller scissors. Then I'm gonna trim around the sticker. I just think this is a cute idea. And if you cut into the sticker a little bit, that's okay. Because I know I just did. <laughs> Look at the back, that's cute. So it's just like that. So now I'm gonna ink this up on both sides. Oop, I forgot to do my corners. Slides in here. Ooh. Might have got some excess glue there seeping out from when I put the fairy dust down. All right. So I think I'm going to leave it like that, the back cover. We might do some more embellishing um, when I get done with the covers. Remember that I was like, we're, we're saving the extra embellishing until we're done with the outside of the book as well. Okay, so then this one. Let's see what I got. I've got some scraps. Sorry, these are large cutoff pieces. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one again from the Tag Build Embellishment. And I'm gonna use, where's the other word? I'm gonna use this one from the Tag Build Embellishment. And then I want one of the smaller tags. I'm gonna get it from in here. This should be on page. There. Um, let's do this size. This is tag number two from page 12. Okay, so I'm gonna use these all, these as traceable templates, of course. So the first one, the biggest one, and I'm losing my voice, you guys. It's the purple one. So I'm gonna go ahead, because you know I had to pick purple, it's my fave. I'm going to go ahead and trace around this one. Right. Oop. Trace around that one. So I got that. And then the next size is going to be, well, it's not big enough, will be this uh, orange one here. Oh, there's, let's look at her, isn't she cute? Let's try to get her. So I'm gonna lay this, I'm gonna do that first. <laughs> Whoa. Trace around this one. Well, I got really close to the edge there. That's all right. 
So we got her. And then this one. Should I try to get that or just... Let's just do it like this. All right. So, oh, good grief. How do I keep doing that? I am going to cut all of these out and ink them all up, and then I'll be back. All right, so I got them all inked up, and I added some hoe reinforcements. I didn't put one in this shorter or this medium-sized tag. I kind of like that it looks like a barrel with her. I don't know. It's just, just cute. I just kind of like it. So I just wanted to leave it be. So I think that's all we're going to do for these two pockets. I really I like them. I really like them. So we're probably going to do some more embellishing um, after we get done with the covers. So the next one will be the covers. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that circle there. And here's a link to my Etsy shop. And you may like some of the videos you see on the screen. I will see you guys next time. Bye.